Hi, I am Valeria Rugin from NB Games. Today I'm gonna show you an exclusive reveal of Rocket Science Foundation update, which is already available on Steam. I've made a lot of changes into core systems for the game, and I'm really excited to see what everyone thinks. So let's just get right into it. In Rocket Science Foundation update, you will experience a new fundamental system, thermodynamics. It not only adds depth to the gameplay by interacting with every other system in the game, but also affects how you build your ships and how you fly them. Every part of your spacecraft will receive and lose heat from different sources. Fail to strike a thermal balance and disaster awaits you. There are plenty of heat producers, working engines, parts that consume electricity, the sun, planets and of course the entry. However, you will have tools to dissipate thermal energy using radiation, convection and conduction and keep your craft safe. To provide all the necessary information that will help you to make decisions, I completely reworked the rocket part window system. Right click on the part and this window will open. It has received visual updates and contains much more information than before. You will find part tooltip from assembly shop here, status icons and most importantly, part skin and internal temperatures. Not only that, but you can open multiple instances of these windows. And, for example, if you pause time, then send commands to several parts and then unpause, they will be executed simultaneously. If you click on several identical parts while holding Alt, you may send multiple commands at the same time. Back to thermodynamics. The most requested feature is finally in the game. Your spacecraft will get very hot on re and probably burn to the ground. But the good news is that debris will also burn up while entering the atmosphere. So, situations when you can't use time warp and need to wait a few minutes while your spent boosters fall to the ground will be far less common. All atmosphere models were extended above Karman's line. So, even if your spacecraft is above this line and not in the physics simulation already, it still receives heat from small atmospheric pressure out there. Be careful to leave spacecraft in low planet's orbit without any attention. By the way, you can pin any node tooltip on the map using right click and it will stay there even if you close and open it again. You can pin target tooltip in flight mode too. I hope this will make your life easier. Let's talk about assembly improvements. You can now change some properties of rocket part models like amount of fuel, state or trigger conditions. And yes, attachments on already placed parts can finally be changed too. Look at that beauty. You no longer need to manually switch to select mode to change part configuration. Just right click on the part and properties panel will be opened. Left click anywhere else and you will return to grab mode and may continue to build your spacecraft. Rocket stages now support undo and redo and you can change the root part of rocket or any other part grouped while in select mode. Fins are proper aerodynamic surfaces now and can be used to control the rocket if you set up them correctly. I've added a new fuel pair, kerosene and liquid oxygen, and several engines that use it. All fuel tanks can be filled with this pair too. I've also changed all engine flame effects. It not only depends on the size of the engine, but on fuel pair too and has variations between engine models. There are many more smaller changes, I will touch on just a few of them. You can turn on and off reaction wheels, disable or send any probe core into hibernation to save some electricity. Note that spacecraft will not process any commands until you bring the probe core out of hibernation. Solar panel electricity production now depends on distance to the sun. To compensate, I've added two more detects. All restrictions on rotation angle on attached parts were removed. It violates socket system rules a bit but provides much more design space. Reset all stages algorithm was significantly improved. All tutorial windows can be dragged now. Information related to thermodynamics, such as maximum internal and skin temperatures, area and volume has been added to part tooltip. There are much more changes and bug fixes in this update. You can find them in the patch notes on Steam. This update is so big and almost every game system was affected by changes, so bugs are expected. If you encounter any, you can leave them on Discord, Steam forums or email them to me. That's all for today. I hope you will have a great time in Rocket Science Foundation update. Have a nice flight.